Hello friends and welcome in to my first ever sponsored video by Sephora. I'm saying that at the beginning of this video because I'm super excited to be partnering with Sephora. I never thought this would happen. So I picked out some really great things that are kind of new and then I went into my own collection and I got a few things that I absolutely love. So the majority were gifted to me by Sephora, which again, I'm so excited about. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try some of them on. Now, if you're not already signed up for the Beauty Insider program from Sephora, I encourage you to do that. There will be a link down below where you can go ahead and do that. It's really easy too. It's it's free to you. There are three different tiers. There's Insider, VIB, and Rouge. Rouge is the highest one, which I normally hit because I'm an influencer and I buy a ton of makeup from them anyway. But there are different tiers and then there are different perks at each tier that you get. So I really encourage you to do that if you haven't already. And all of the products will be listed and linked down in the description box for you to be able to shop that way today. I hope that you do enjoy this first impressions video and I want to say thank you you to you all for being here especially if you're new i hope that you consider subscribing and if everybody would give this a thumbs up i would really appreciate that all of you that have been with me for such a long time you know how exciting this is for me okay we're going to start out with trying on the new Too faced bronzing stick it's the melting bronzing and sculpting stick and this one is in chocolate mousse why is nobody talking about this now this one was mine particularly i purchased this but why is nobody talking about this i love the color the color is so good for a fair to medium person now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a bunch in my hand right here and then i'm going to pick it up with my brush and then i'm going to put it on so that it, i don't get too much on what is so beautiful about this is it's the perfect blend for me i'm going to just put some on because i'm not getting enough on because i have this tan on right now and my mirror is over here so that you all know that anyway it's this perfect blend of contour and bronze and it just brightens up my complexion. It really is giving these vibes of just warming up your face without it being orange at all, which I absolutely love. And you know, I have such a high forehead that I'm always putting my bronzer up there. And then of course, hide the neck as much as we possibly can and carve out the jawline. So pretty. I love this thing. I don't know why more people aren't talking about it. And then for blush, I have two. One is from Huda Beauty and it is their new liquid blush and this one is in strawberry cream and these are the blush filters these are just gorgeous about how they blur out without depositing too much blush and again i'm just going to put some in my hand this is how i always do my makeup i put it in the palm of my hand and then i pick it up on the brush so i know i'm not getting too much of it by the way the brush that i'm using today is that hourglass dual sided brush which is just lovely to use. And then I'm gonna just kind of stipple this on. Ooh, that's got a lot of pigment. Can you see that? That's nice. I really like a lot of pigment in my blushes, but we wanna be careful not to get too much. So have you seen the influencers that are doing kind of the sunburnt look for the blush? That's what this blush reminds me of. That beautiful, I've just come out of the sun or I've spent a day on the beach kind of look. That's what this blush does. It just looks so pretty. I really do like how it dries down and it just gives that blurred effect. And I did put a little bit extra on because I wanted it to come across camera. I hope it's coming across. It's so pretty. It does. It looks like I've just been in the sun and I got a little bit too much sun, but it's that beachy look without being too tan. It's just kind of that yeah, I'm a fair gal and I get burnt a little bit. So I like it a lot. Then the other one that I got is this new stick blush from House Labs, which I'm really excited about as well. They're called the Color Fuse Glossy Blush Balm. Glassy Blush Balm. And this one is in Glassy Lilac. And look at that purple color in there. Oh gosh, it really is kind of that bluish kind of pink color that you get so pretty oh my word okay i want to do a little bit of this on just a little bit and see what we get from that on there kind of 
toning that down a little bit actually that's really pretty got a beautiful texture to it it's a really beautiful texture i think if you want that glossy glass-like look on your cheeks then this would be a really good one for you i love that texture and it seems to be a little bit more pigmented than the huda beauty one so if you want a blurred effect go for the huda if you want something that has a lot more pigment that you're really going to get a lot out of go for the house labs one and then have any of you seen these new highlighters from the sephora collection sephora collection has my heart because they do such a really high-end job of making their cosmetics without hitting you with that high-end price. And I just think they're so beautiful. These are called the Luminizers. And I have one that is in Iced Pearl. So we'll start with Iced Pearl. And these are, I'm going to take my bracelet off so I can swatch. These are a beautiful highlighter without having any like glitter particles in them. It's just so pretty. This next one is called Rose Quartz. That one has just a little bit icier look. Hopefully you're gonna be able to see these pretty well. And then the last one reminds me of the Rare Beauty Blush Luminizers. Um, this one is Pink Flash because I think that this one you could probably wear as a blush like those are without having to use an extra blush. So these are beautiful. They're so pretty. And I think I'm going to go for that first one. Again, that one was called Iced Pearl. I think I'm going to go for that one and use that one across my cheeks. I always have a rag that I'm doing my makeup with. So I'm just cleaning my brush off from that bronzer so that I don't transfer. Okay, so I'm going to go down into the luminizer or the highlighter. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's really pretty. So you're going to get this really beautiful highlight look. Even though that one blush from House Labs was kind of glossy, you're going to get a little bit more. And you can put it right here on the cupid's bow on the end of your nose if you choose to do that. You can lighten up on your forehead if you want to. So I've got a very dewy look going on. Wow, it's really pretty. But I need to tone that down a little bit. And the other thing I need to do is set my under eyes. Um, I haven't done that yet, and I wanted to bring the Pat McGrath Labs new under eye. Gotta get the glasses. Always gotta get the glasses. This is her Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder, and this one is in baby pink. So this one's new to me. And to use this, I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender Sponge Puff. I love these. I think they're so pretty. So I'm gonna tap a little bit on my sponge there, and then again, I'm gonna tap it into my hand so I don't get too much. And I'm just gonna go right there underneath my eyes and see what I think. It blurred that out really fast. Wow, just a tiny, tiny bit. Pretty color. You might think that this baby pink is not necessarily worth it if you already have the original white one. And if you have that, of course, you know, take it for what it is. This is pretty as far as that brightening color. Now, you know how much I love the Patrick Ta one size pink powder. It's a lot like that, only a little bit more refined for the under eye area. So. Pretty, I really like it. The next one I picked up, and this one was part of the gift that Sephora gave me um, from Huda Beauty, and this is her baking powder. This is her Cherry Blossom Cake Baby Cake Loose Baking and Setting Powder, and I picked it up in that pink color because, again, one of you said this was fantastic for mature skin, and I remember trying this a while ago. I always forget how to get into this. So you twist, and then there's a puff. So I really think that's cute. I like that. Okay, but I'm not gonna use it like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit in my hand and then I'm gonna get that puff I was just using and pick that up. Set my face, the rest of my face. I'm gonna powder down and see if I can't get some of this shine under control. Ooh, I think I like that. I think I like that a lot. I think that this one is a little bit smoother. So whoever you were that told me to try this one out, thank you. And I really do think I like this a lot. It's a very smooth powder and it is taking down all of that shine I needed taken down because it got really shiny, which I'm always shiny because I'm fair complected anyway, but I do think I like that a lot. So the Huda Beauty one has my thumbs up just because it did such a good job of taking down all of that shine everywhere that I needed it to. So that's really pretty. The next gifted product is from Pat McGrath Labs. And I chose this because it's completely different from anything I really have been doing lately. This is the Dr Dramatic, I hope, Mega Lip Pencil. Um, this is in Mava, Mava Moselle. So this is a very mauve color. 
Oh, this is pretty. So I'm excited to try that one. So I'm going to use this as my liner and I'm going to use it to kind of fill in a little bit really creamy doesn't feel like a lip pencil or a lip liner it actually feels more like a lipstick oh that one's so pretty tiny bit darker than what i normally wear but i do like it it's giving my lips a lot of life this is kind of a matte formula little bit thinner slip on it as far as a lipstick goes but it's very very comfortable it's almost like it's drying down it's almost like a matte liquid lipstick but very comfortable i am impressed with that as well and then the other gifted product that they got me was the fenty beauty gloss bomb and i've been wanting this for so long this color is fuchsia flex and yeah, I've been really wanting this one for a really long time. If you're not familiar with the gloss bombs, oh my gosh, that color is so pretty. They're a medium thickness gloss. They stick around a long time. They have this nice fragrance to them without being overwhelming at all. They don't have any sort of a taste or anything like that. And I'm just going to put this, oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, oh, can you see how pretty that is? Holy moly, that's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that. Now, all of the ones that I've tried from her before have just been like clear toppers where it just gives you the gloss. This one is actually full of color and it's so pretty. It's just gorgeous. So excited about that one. I do also want to tell you that this product right here from Colfi, which is their eyeliners, is one of my very favorite eyeliners in the whole wide world. I have this in every color that they have out. So let me just tell you how many colors there are. So there are, there are six colors. They have beautiful browns. They have this one that is purpley patica. It's a berry color. It's so pretty. But the one that I'm doing today is this blue color, or I'm showing you today is this blue color, and it's called Rain Check. And I purposely didn't put any mascara underneath my eyes because I wanted you to see how pretty this is. And I'm just sticking to the outer corner of my eye, and you can see how deep that is and how pretty it is. So you can, you don't have to smudge it out, but you can. Even if you have something like this, you could smudge it a little bit. So pretty, but when they're there, they're there and they're going to last all day. In your waterline, I would say that you get about four hours out of them. They're so pretty. And my suggestion for waterline would be go ahead and tap the excess water off with like a Q-tip on your waterline and then put your liner in there and then give it a second and go back in with a second coat. That's what I do when I'm doing my waterline and it just seems to make it last a really long time. So this is really beautiful and I've had these for a long time. I just love them. The last thing that I got to try today was from NARS and this is the Light Reflective Reflecting Makeup Setting Mist. By the way, I also did get the Light Reflecting Hydrating Primer, which I'll show you right here. Now the primer is one of those that is super lightweight but I could tell that it, it did the blurring at the same time, but that lightweight feel of it really set my skin up for a beautiful foundation application, so I was really glad about that. Really nice primer, definitely one that I personally would repurchase myself. And then the spray, this is the first time I've ever tried it. It looks like it has a really nice nozzle. I haven't even primed this yet, so we better see what we got. So it's got like an almost a really fine aerosol mist to it, but it's not, it's a definitely a spray bottle, but really nice mist. And that is what it did immediately. So it's got that light reflecting property in it. I can see that almost immediately. It's pretty, it's really nice. We will see how it does during the day. Now down below, I will put all of the information about all of the products, they will all be linked. And then below that, I'll put my thoughts about how they performed throughout the day so that you get that information as well. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this kind of different video from me because normally I do a video where I try on or I've tried things for a long time, but it was fun to be able to do a first impressions with you. So I hope that you did enjoy seeing all of those. Also, besides the Beauty Insider program i don't know if you know this or not but there's a really cool thing where you can order online at sephora.com and you can pick up in store and they'll do curbside or they will do the in-store pickup either one which is awesome and in some places they have this really cool same day delivery service so check out all of that when you go and you see that homepage about the beauty insider program and i'll make sure that i let you know about a lot of it down in the description box so open that description box where it says show more and just peruse 
peruse through there so that you can see all of the benefits and the perks of being in the Beauty Insider program. Thank you so much for being with me today. And again, thank you to Sephora for partnering, partnering with me on this video. I appreciate it so very much. I hope that you are all doing really well. Please stay happy, stay healthy. I love you much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, my friends.